In academic essays, concession and concession rebuttal is usually adopted to acknowledge different but valid perspectives on the topic. Concession refers to the strategy of acknowledging a point made by the opposition before arguing one's own point of view. By acknowledging opposing arguments, concession indicates an understanding of exactly what causes the controversy. It also demonstrates maturity by considering the issue from other perspectives. Concessions usually begin with a concession word or phrase such as although, even though, regardless, while, despite. For example, a statement made in a paper on eco-label houses in Japan might read, while the seminal studies provided first valuable insights into the pricing of sustainable real estate, they are also characterized by important limitations. Another way to present a concession is to state the concession as a fact, then to use a contrasting conjunction when stating one's own thesis. The seminal studies provided first valuable insights into the pricing of sustainable real estate. However, they are also characterized by important limitations. As these examples suggest, the concession usually precedes the thesis statement. The order is mainly to ensure that readers remember your idea most vivid vividly. In general, most people retain the idea that's most recent. This order also prepares the reader for the next paragraph, which is likely to begin with a topic sentence that supports your thesis. A concession is usually followed by a rebuttal. For instance, consider the topic of smoking in public places. Admittedly, an individual has the right to freedom of action, but he does not have a right to damage the health of others. Smoking in public does damage the health of others who are disadvantaged as second-hand smokers. Here, the author acknowledges the opposing point of view by stating that an individual does have a right to freedom of action. After conceding the opposing argument, the author immediately argues his stance. In this case, by conceding with admittedly, the writer seeks common ground with the intended audience. Signalled by the contrastive marker, but, the rebuttal negates the false implications of the previously mentioned belief. The rebuttal is then supported with secondhand smoking facts as evidence. Ultimately, a concession and rebuttal consists of three parts. The concession, the rebuttal, and then support of the claim in the rebuttal. In a concession and rebuttal sequence, the first sentence of the rebuttal usually consists of a claim which has to be supported. Concrete evidence and justifications have to be provided in order for the rebuttal to be really effective. 